The world is aging faster now than any time before, and that's turning our traditional population pyramids into a population T. So pretty soon we're going to have many more seniors than we do children. And that change in our demographics is going to have an impact on every aspect of our lives, from healthcare to transportation, from communication to the workplace. And how the brain ages is important in every single one of those areas. But we still don't know very much about the aging brain. Until recently, we actually believed there was a best before date for people, that as the brain aged, the only thing it could do was deteriorate. The work in our lab actually challenges that view, and we ask whether and when and how older brains can maintain or even improve performance. In one of our experiments, we asked people to come in and do a basic visual discrimination task. We asked them to say whether they saw fat bars or thin bars. And when we looked at the results, both younger people and older people could do the task quite well. And in fact, we couldn't discriminate across the age groups in terms of behavior. But we actually had also recorded their brain activity while they did that task, and that's where things got interesting. When we looked at the patterns of activation across the brain that were correlated with behavior in young people, what we saw was that the occipital cortex was key in their performance. And that makes sense because the occipital cortex is actually important for vision and it was a visual task. But in older people, the critical areas were in hippocampus and prefrontal cortex. And those are regions in the younger brain that we associate with things like memory and attention. So it seemed as though the older brain had rewired itself to recruit the memory and attention areas to do a visual task. If that's the case, you might expect older people would have difficulty on memory and attention tasks. And in fact, that's what we and others have found. We've brought people into the lab and had them do a range of different kinds of attention tasks. In a focused attention task, they might have to say what letter appeared on the screen or where a spot appeared out in the periphery. In a divided attention task, they have to do both of those things at the same time. And when we track performance on that divided attention task across the adult lifespan, what we see is that decade by decade by decade, performance declines. And that's important because performance in the kind of tasks that we use there is actually correlated with certain kinds of driving activities. So should we take someone's keys away just because they turned 80 or 70 or 60? Or is it possible that the older people and their brains can learn to adapt to those more complex situations? We test that by bringing the people back in and having them perform the task over a couple of weeks and tracking their performance as they learn. And by the end of training, what we see is that older people and younger people can both do two tasks as well as one. And what that means is that we've taught older people how to multitask. So our old views of the old brain really are outdated. There's no reason we have to think about best before dates for people because their brains are incredibly flexible throughout our lifetimes and we certainly can teach old brains new tricks. Thank you.